But this is showing how to do conditional formatting in Power BI. And what we're looking at is a table with, uh, with clients and uh, information we've collected, emergency information, employment status, and individual service plans. And we're looking at, we need to capture that information. In this case, I've assumed an annual basis. So 365 days out, we need to capture that information again. And so what we're looking at is kind of what's the current status of our information. So conditional formatting can help immensely. So let's just go up and take a look at it. So if, if here's what I've got, uh, then this is that same information. And again, because it's Power BI, I can sort it by any column we care to. And I can see uh, exactly kind of what we need to do or uh, kind of what information needs to be uh, captured. What, what, what do we need to refresh? So, so let's look at a second, uh, uh, add a new condition to this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out here and add progress node. And you're going to see it's going to come out with the full hierarchy. So we want to go on ahead and shut it down to just the date. Uh, and so what we have is a date now. And, and then what we want to do is to add, we're going to add three different fields. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a measure. And that measure, so for this measure, what I'm going to do is to, this is this just pasted in what we did for the next emergency information to make that work. And so what I'm going to do here is to go out and delete these chunks. Uh, and we're going to call them progress. And so I'm going to add a progress note. So typing PRO got me progress. And I can double click there. Uh, and then what I'm saying is the rest of it's OK. I want to also change this. So I'm going to say, let's just call this uh, progress note. So I'm going to call this progress note. And I'm going to say, accept that. And what it's doing is it's going out and setting a variable equal to the max. Again, this is a measure. So it's looking for the max activity date. And we're returning, if it's blank, we want to let it be blanks. Otherwise, we want it to be the value plus 365. So that actually gets us the date we need. We add it, and it shows up here. And we're going to go on ahead and click here as well. What that's going to do is to give us uh, the progress note, which shows here. Next, we want to go out, and now that we have this, which is indicating kind of what the, what the 365 is going to look like, uh, then we want to build the equation to be able to get the conditional to work. So we're going to then add uh, a new column. And for this one, we're going to make the same change. We're going to also say this is equal to progress. In this case, it's a column. So we're going to say it's a progress note, um, note and C as column. Uh, we're then going to eliminate this, and we're just going to again type PRO, and it sells us progress notes there. Uh, so we're able to say, great, so progress note is what I want, uh, and that's plus 365 to get it. So this is a, a calculated, uh, this is a calculated column, and so what we're going to be doing, uh, let me go on ahead and accept that one, and uh, the next step is we're going to add one more column. So we're going to go back out to client. And we're going to say, give us now a new column. What I'm going to do is to change here, make this progress notes. So progress notes. Um, and we're going to say it's equal to, and the only thing we want to change here, and note this is the C. So we're taking and saying, this time we're actually calculating against the next emergency. And so we're going to type PRO again. And this time we are going to get the C option, which is the column we just created, which is the 365. Double clicking gets us here. And then we can say, great, save that. So just to check ourselves, what we're going to do is to go out and take a look at this progress notes and see what happens. And you can see it kind of walks out the chart a little bit, uh, mostly because what happens is it's currently formatted as a date, but we actually want to format it as a whole number. And so by clicking whole number, we say yes, accept that. And then what it'll do if we drop back out there, uh, and we go here, it actually shows us here we now have those and the chart looks right again. So we've, we've calculated this 
uh, by taking the progress note uh, and comparing it to another column, which is a calculated column, so we can get this calculated column. And now we're going to go back to this measure, and we're going to format this measure. So we're going to go here to uh, the conditional formatting for the measure. We're going to go to background color, and we're going to say, what do we want to do it on? We're going to actually do a search here on overdue. And we're going to find that the progress note overdue. Uh, and the same way you could have this as remaining, you could have it as uh, kind of whatever, whatever the calculation is that makes sense given what you're up to. Uh, but what we're going to do is, is we're going to say this default, we're not going to have any blanks because of the nature of the fact that we've got a calculation going. Uh, we're going to set a, a custom lowest value. And we're going to call this minus 30 days. So we're going to say with 30 days, uh, we want to change, so we're going to let it be green uh, for 30 days. Let me let do green again. There we go. And and we're going to let it be diverging because what we want to do is to say the, the quote-unquote middle value in this case is a custom value, which we're going to say is 60 days. And then we're going to let that one be red. And we could have gone here and gotten a custom color, but we're going to go ahead and pick it. And then what happens is when there's blank values, uh, we end up having highest values. So the highest value, which we're going to assume is blank, is going to show up as white. And so in this case, we'll say, good, that all looks right. I'm going to say, OK. And then what we're going to see is that where we had a, a blank value for a progress note, then we don't have information. So that's where we end up getting a blank as the highest value in the list. Um, and so what we now have is that. Now I can go on ahead and just clean this one off, which is the progress notes overdue. And now what I have is a report that works. I can save it and we've got it. I hope that's a helpful introduction and good luck with your uh, conditional formatting.